Hey, this is Frank Furness with your sales and marketing tips. And today we're going to take a look at your video testimonials strategy. Really what this is, if you've got a vlog or a blog or a website and you're putting on some of your really good video testimonials, you may do as I did where I was using YouTube in the past so let's take a look. I would go and put it up onto YouTube because of course I was using their bandwidth and all I need to do is copy and paste the embed code. So let's take a look at what that looked like. So as you can see over here, I've got a lot of my video testimonials embedded uh, into my website. And these are basically YouTube. I've put them onto YouTube because I can use their bandwidth. Uh, and... Uh, in the old days, it was great. They weren't putting adverts on, and uh, we can see over here. There we go. We Video testimonial. We get to the end of it. Here. And fortunately, and this is what I would say to everybody, go and take every one of your videos and make sure you've put in links to your other videos. Otherwise, you know what happens? YouTube will put in their own links. They will put in adverts and all of a sudden your client will be coming onto your website, be seeing an advert on the your normal videos or your video testimonials. And at the end of it, all of a sudden they might appear your competition. Because if we just go over here, let's go and take a look at, uh, let's open up LinkedIn here, uh, let's open up YouTube and see what videos we've got, what a typical client would have. So if we go in, let's uh, let's just put in your uh, video testimonials. Uh, video testimonials. And we come up with uh, quite a few video testimonials now. So let's say we're going to choose somebody over here. Uh, there we go six questions for asking if we just choose any of these over here um, so this person might be taking that and they're going to put it up onto their website hey team Rue here so there they Quick start video often for often the there would be an advert starting up there they'll put ads onto it but watch what happens when Beneficial they get for you. to the end you of this year can benefit from it as well give it a little share so there That's we all go I ask. and okay. youtube will now choose all right which video is to put much. on? See you bit. Watch this. Bye. Oh, boom. Something else totally unrelated is coming on. And that could be your competition or something totally unrelated to what you do. And that's not really what you want on your website. So what I recommend to you is if any video testimonials, any videos, start hosting them with Vimeo Plus. It costs about six pounds a month. Yeah, you can see I've taken all of my videos off YouTube now. I've uploaded them to Vimeo Plus here. And you can see here's all the videos here. And what I'm doing one by one, I'm going to each of these here. And uh, let's just find one here. You can see there, there's a lot that I'm putting up there. Let's say I wanted to look at uh, Janie Smith. And she did a testimonial on me working with her in Fort Lauderdale. So I'm just going to go to the video now. So this is on Vimeo. I'm now going to go to settings. And a couple of things that you've got to do over here is put in a great title because that's going to appear on the top there. So I'm going to put in Janie Smith testimonial on Frank Furness. And I'll just put that into the description as well. And always get a great thumbnail. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go and uh, I'm going to upload a thumbnail. So let's look for Janie Smith. There we go. And by the way, I make all of my thumbnails with a great little thumbnail maker over here called the Creator. You can see I go in. All I do is just change the name and save them. We go back there again. There it is can be watched by anyone. I'm going to add it to my channels and my groups. I want other people to see it. Save it. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to go to your embed and look at how professional that looks. That looks fantastic. It's got the play bar. The only thing I don't like is it's got the Vimeo 
logo there. So all we do is we'll go down and we'll click out of that show Vimeo logo. So it's not showing that we're going to save. And then what you do is you go click embed code, copy it. And what I do is I'll put everything into a Word document before I go anywhere. So I will just go over here and I will put in Janie Smith. And paste the embed code. And there we go. Now I can take that, put that up onto my website. And as you can see, that's your strategy for video testimonials. So, hey, this is Frank. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and share. Thanks for watching. Cheers.